Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you guys again soon with another episode of Wine on the Dime. Signing off. That wasn't a bad episode. I could have done a little bit better. I mean, there's that part where I was doing the coloration. And I just, I, I was all over the place. And um, wasn't like, and then I, Haley walked by and she hit my table. And I was like, whoa. We have a wine emergency. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. Uh, so as you probably just noticed, I had an accident, but that's okay because when I was at Total Wines the other day, uh, I stopped in uh, the wine procurement area and picked up one of these, Wine Away, red stain, a red wine stain remover. Uh, two fluid ounces, 60% uh, milliliter, or 60 milliliters, uh, no uh, ABV, because you don't drink this. This is for when you do something stupid like this. Uh, and you're trying to win a wine uh, wet t-shirt contest and you're just a bad person overall. So I have a problem here. I now have a white shirt with red wine on it. I'm gonna see if this wine away stuff works. So the instructions on it, on fabric, uh, are to uh, saturate with wine away uh, and then let permeate for one to three minutes, then launder and clean, uh, or launder and then dry clean, and then do it again if need be. And then it gives a guarantee saying, we can't guarantee this product is going to work. So then I was like, hmm, this is $7. Or I'm sorry, this this small bottle was uh, $4.99. They have a bigger bottle for $7. Um, so why not? At this point, let me just go ahead and try it out. Let's see if that is actually going to work at all. Um, now, it also has instructions for carpet. Um, Luckily, I am a dumbass, uh, and not a really big dumbass, because I didn't get all, all over my carpet. Uh, so now I just have to worry about myself. So I am going to focus on this area right here and leave this area alone. So this area down here will just have um, the normal kind of fabric stuff with it. Uh, it's, it's called... Uh, laundry detergent. So this area will have uh, the wine away, uh, this area down here will have uh, the laundry detergent, and then I'll run it through the uh, dryer, and we'll see uh, in a little while if it actually ends up like doing its job. Uh, so the first thing, always shake stuff well, and then don't, make sure you don't, oh it smells like, it smells like I'm I'm coating myself in pledge. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be wearing the shirt when I do. I'm probably not. Oh, that's weird. It's turning blue. What the hell? This is messed up. This is weird. Look at this. It's blue. Okay. So I... I smell like a piece of hardwood furniture now. I'm gonna let this soak in for a little while. There's probably some like orange oil or something in there that's helping breaking down sort of the connections. It doesn't really have what ingredients are in it. Um, I mean, they don't need to because it's not a food item, but I'm gonna let this soak for a while longer. Uh, probably gonna go take a quick shower so I don't smell like an armchair any longer. And then I'll be back in a little while and uh, after I've run this stuff through the laundry and we'll see how it turns out. Hey everybody, uh, so I just finished washing my shirt with the wine away on it, and, uh, oh, let me get it in the right orientation, and this is the result. As you can see, wherever, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> so, this is the section of the shirt that had wine spilled on it nothing this is the section of the shirt that had wine spilled on it but no wine away you can kind of see where um, 
first of all, I have to fix coloration there. It, you can kind of see where the wine away actually didn't kind of soak through. Well, there was no wine away here. You can, you can see where the wine is actually still staining the shirt. Um, one thing I didn't expect actually is that the wine away actually soaked into more of the shirt and kind of soaked into the overall fluid. So even the spots that weren't affected uh, by wine away um, still actually ended up kind of soaking it in and, and, and pulling a lot of the stain out. It was very interesting. Um, I actually expected the shirt to be totally ruined. I could probably still wear that shirt, uh, especially if I spray the spots that are still affected with some wine away, put it back through the wash, um, and try again. That shirt is probably salvageable, um, which is very interesting because I did not expect that at all. I expected this product not to work. Um, so, uh, what I'm saying is for cotton fabric, ooh, there we go, uh, cotton fabric, wine away is wine on the dime approved. It works. Don't wear the shirt while you spray it on. Um, even after taking a shower, parts of my chest smelled like pledge. And I, while, well, yeah, there's so many hardwood jokes right there. I'm not even going to go into it. But um, you can uh, pick pick up some wine away. I either go through on Amazon or um, at the Total Wine and More website, and you can pick up. Uh, a bottle of it for yourself and have it on hand in case you think there's going to be any accidents that are wine related because that's what it works on anyway this has been Stuart with wine on the dime if you like today's video please like subscribe and comment especially comment please comment i want more comments do you know another wine product that would be good for me to review? Um, have you used Wine Away and it just did not work out for you? I'm interested to know. I still didn't test this on like 50-50 polyester cotton blends, and silk, on other things. All I did was 100% straight cotton. So if you have a uh, recommendation on another fabric for me to spill wine on and test, let me know. Uh, overall, I think this is a success. This is an enjoy again, though... I didn't really enjoy having wine spilled on me, but, but this will fix the problem if, when it happens. So uh, I will see you guys again soon with another video from Wine on a Dime. This is Stu signing off.